Hello my little McNuggets. Richard here, and welcome back to another episode of Slap My Bollocks and Call Me Samantha. White people am I right? <laughs> Today we are going to be doing the only thing that gets my channel views which is, you guessed it, another future based tutorial, but this time it will be so wavy and crispy you can't help but hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Because you know what I value more than future base, knowledge. Now get ready and buckle the duck up, because this ain't no black and white future base track. This bad boy has got some major magenta. Enjoy. To start off with the drums, we have a hi-hat top kick. A punchy top kick. And finally, an 808 punch kick. In the very first half bar of the drop, we have a stomp that reverses, which gives a Elenium style vibe. Next, we have a sprinkler hi hat pattern. Also, make sure all drums are side chained. Fill the drop with as many percussion as you can. Add a muted guitar strum rhythm. Make sure at the beginning of the drop everything feeds back into itself. For the snare make sure to layer tonal future bass snares but also trap snares. For the bass start off with a virtual riot type distorted bass. And make sure everything follows a wavy pattern by using gross beat. Next add a deep sub to follow this bass line and make sure that its gross beat is not as intense. For the saws keep one very big open saw. And also an arpeggiated pattern of the same chords. Everything should still be rooted through a nice gross beat. For the build up, make sure you low pass your drums. And fill the beginning of the build up with tons of impacts and reverses. Again, add some vinyl for some soft crispness. Like always, make sure to low pass the cells from the drop inside the buildup and drench them in reverb. Also add a nice wavy pad along with those cells. It's very good. Let's add that big big riser. Throw in some high sets and call yourself a day. <laughs> 